So with that in mind, let's look at the SysML model of the system, in this case, the flashlight. So let's start with the requirements. And, you know, your requirements are often defined in another tool, in a requirements management tool, and there are several of them out there. Uh, and the idea is, you know, you would perhaps continue to use your requirements management tool in the same way you do today, but you can bring those requirements into the SysML model. And once they're in the SysML model, you can trace to them in the model. So it really enhances traceability back to those requirements by bringing them into the model. So what we're showing here is, you know, a simple example of the flashlight specification as a tree of requirements. And you have user interface. Uh, I'd like to point you to the illumination requirement, which is composed of a field of view requirement and a light power requirement. And there are physical and cost requirements. The physical, you can see portability, size and weight, reliability, and others. But this just illustrates the intent of bringing these requirements in. Now, once I have the requirements in the model, I can actually render them in different ways. The modeling tools provide that capability. So in this, in this rendering, we're looking at those same requirements. You can see the flashlight specification here at the top. You see the illumination requirement with the field of view and the light power, and the physical with the portability, size and weight, etc. You see that we've showing some additional information, such as the, the ID and the text, and even some a verification method in a couple of examples here, or one example. And so this is just a, a different rendering of the same underlying model of the system. So we're showing different information, but it's the same underlying model beneath it. And that's the power of the model. So you can present different aspects that you care about in a particular view. So at any rate, uh, this kind of highlights the requirements uh, for, for the system. And of course, this can get very com complex. You can accommodate very large numbers of requirements. And you can see that you can, you know, in the tool, you can collapse these and use your typical grouping mechanisms and packaging mechanisms to make it scalable. 